minus three, two, one, go. And off they go here into play. Both sides wanting to take advantage of the sandstorm period despite limited visibility. The Robo Totes in blue lining up but having a hard time finding the sweet spot for their cargo. Once they could see, it's easy pickings there as the Robo Totes put away three points and just lead by two. Anyone's match here as the lead seems to go back and forth. The Red Alliance now quickly working a hatch panel while Vikings try to shut down the Apex scoring machine. All weekend long, Apex has been able to score quite well, but they have not necessarily had to deal with the likes of the Blue Alliance Vikings. Definitely making it harder for the Red Alliance side here, which gives Blue a chance to come back five points down. It's the Red Alliance who currently leads. Over a minute and a half to play here. Blue Alliance machines looking for some cargo as we have four bots kind of tussling back and forth on the crowd side of the field. Tracking down a hatch panel. Apex now without anything in their way lines up. And hopefully all is well with that Apex manipulator as they're struggling to secure a hatch panel to the cargo ship. Blue Alliance taking advantage of the opportunity to come on back as only one point now divides these teams. And with that, a Blue Alliance bot is down. The Vikings over on their backs. An unfortunate circumstance here as the Blue Alliance wanted to win this to take it all the way to the semifinals. Right now, the Red Alliance hopefully going to use the next 50 seconds to play quickly and see if they can lock down the chance for a tiebreaker round. Right now, the Blue Alliance, two bots in action, 55-88. Rain Robotics, who refuses to go down without a fight, alongside their partners, the Robo Totes, your Blue Alliance captains. 30 seconds remaining in the match right now. Blue Alliance with a slight advantage, but lots of opportunities to climb as the Cyber Knights seem to have a canister of air holding off, the, hanging off the side of their machine. Wreckage on all ends of the field as two top-tier climbs give 12 points apiece and a toppling down from rain in the final three seconds might have made the difference, but they recover in the final seconds. Holy Names Academy might have just pulled one out of a hat to take it to the semifinals with that last maneuver. What a play. We're going to calculate the scores. Validate your hatch panels and be right back with your cargo and your results of what could possibly be our last quarterfinal match. Hang tight.
Ladies and gentlemen, an announcement regarding quarterfinal match number eight. A discussion with our head referee and our referees in the match here. We'd like to note that in that last match, the referee would like to announce that a rule G19 was violated, which according to the rule book states that it is strategies aimed at the inhibit inhibitation of other robots via attachment, damage, tipping, or entanglements, and it is therefore not allowed. The results of that incident between 4911 of the Red Alliance and 2928 of the Blue Alliance has resulted in a red card played to the Red Alliance. With that in mind, the effect of that red card on this match does mean that they will not be allowed to continue playing in the playoffs because it disqualifies them from completing this match, which means that the Blue Alliance is awarded the victory as their second victory here in the quarterfinals, promoting them into the next round of our playoff structure. So with the scores on the board... The Blue Alliance is officially announced as your winner of quarterfinal match number eight. And with it, they will be moving on into the next round of our playoffs as the semifinals continue. Please do give a round of applause for some fantastic play still performed by the expert drive teams and skilled robots on 4911, 5803, and 3588 of your number three seated alliance. We appreciate your attention.